Yeah. Right, right, right. All right, I just got word from the producers that we are moving to the draft. Um, before we do, I'm going to take a. I'm going to get a quick uh, thank you to our major sponsors, Red Bull, No Frills, and in Inland AV for making all this possible and all this happen. And I want to get your uh, predictions for this game, Tiger. You first. Who do you think is going to take it? Uh, two on Votertron. All right, Snarfles. It depends a lot on draft, but my yeah. gut would say Votertron, just because from what I've seen, they're better at drafting, and that's pretty much it. Okay, well let's yeah. let's jump over to the draft then. I have no opinion. I don't know what I'm talking about, so let's uh, let's go over. <laughs> and of course, we see the Rumble ban right away there, as there we go. were as we were talking about, and then a Cassiopeia uh, banned against Bladis there. I, I think that's a that's, that's a really good Gabby's for sure. Yeah, it, Gabby's it's, it's also a flex. Oh, it's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, you know we saw that last week. It it, it he just like he annihilated them. Yeah, it was yeah, incredible. he can roll them. Like yeah, yeah against Gabby's you probably ban like Cassio. Maybe Talia. He popped off on Talia that one game. Um, mm -hmm. and then a... yeah, I, yeah. Like this is what I'm talking about, right? Like you take out the champions, the Tom, yeah, top player, yeah. Tom two to three players. champs, Rodolf, then, I should say. Yeah, Rodolf. Yeah. yeah, and eventually like he. He's not as proactive, not as a dominant in that mid lane. Mm. And there's the Tom Kench ban, as we were we were yeah. talking about that 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 Abu would like to run that, and they they don't want him to run it. Yeah. So you see that they banned Silas here. So they did leave up Tom's Aurelia, which is also scary, but yeah. maybe they have a counter to it. Well, Yasuo is actually good into Aurelia, but that's a it's, it's kind of a skill matchup. It's mostly yeah. Yasuo favored. We'll have to see. Because so Bladis is a Bladis is a Yasuo main, right? The Silas ban leads me to believe they're trying to play something like Orin top lane. Or they just take yeah. Thresh straight up, so they're denying yeah. Thresh from. Oh no, they're just giving Graves Thresh Ezreal. to uh, Thresh main, and okay. they're just straight up taking Graves. Okay, Thresh Graves Ezreal. This is the Graves line. Right. Well, it depends. Blind. Maybe they go Elise. Blind Graves. I mean, Elise is like okay. Or Trample. Graves. Yeah, or or a lot of things are open. Um. Graves, the issue with Graves right now is he doesn't have like a lot of counters. Like he's just, and he, if, even if he has a bad matchup, he can just power farm it up. Yeah, he can just power farm, and he outskills you because he's Graves. Yeah. So it's... And then Ezreal is just a safe pick. I'm surprised they oh. didn't go for Varus. They want Yasuo. Yasuo, okay. Yeah, so Varus is pretty good into Ezreal. They might go Gragas for the jungle matchup then. Maybe yeah. Gragas and Graves is the matchup. Gragas is pretty good into Graves, yeah. You just and then say, they have their Yasuo comp. And then you say, let's, yeah. just, let's just play around our Yasuo. We have a Thresh, we have a Yasuo, we have Gragas, and let's just yeah. focus around those dragons, and we can just try to roll those team fights. Now, Graves is good against Gragas, but that's just a vacuum counter. Like It's not even yeah. like that hard of a counter, but yeah, see, there's the Gragas. Uh, and then they probably take their support here to, so that they don't get banned out. Uh, into Thresh, Nautilus is okay. They might yeah. just go for something that can. They roll. also need. Like, they also need some front lines. So Nautilus would probably be the best pick for the Votertron here. We'll uh, have to see if they go, because not everything. Nautilus is also okay against Yas because you can just lock them up. Mm -hmm. But well, they I just don't know. go Lulu. Ezra they could also Lulu. just take Yumi here and just say, "I don't care about the lane." Ezra Yumi strong. And there's Lulu. Yumi. You, you guys called these uh, picks of the day. Yeah. You guys yeah. Apparently. Them. Yeah. Power picks. Well, I was gonna say the Thresh, uh, Thresh main last week. Um, destroyed on Thresh in the first game and then got totally countered by the Tom Kench in the second game. So that might have been uh, a motivating their um, ban of Tom Kench as well. Yeah. And then they banned the set, which is probably because uh, their top laners played mostly tanks so far, which is yeah. the set. Is... Or uh, I should say the uh, Dinsey's played mostly tanks so far and set. So they're banning out. Yeah. They're banning out Malkai. just tanks. Both yeah, of these uh, top laners Malkai, much... Malkai makes sense, players. yeah. It looks but, like they, wanna, they wanted to put... Uh... They, they want to put him on Darius. They want okay. to put Galio. They want Galio oh. mid Voltron. Wow. They, okay. Galio. I don't. It's pretty good into Yasuo. It's actually pretty good absorption into Gregus Yasuo. It's probably one of the better ones because you can keep on channeling your W even when you're knocked up. I'm not sure. Actually, no, no, you can't. I don't um, like the Galio pick here because there's no setup for it whatsoever. Yeah. And it's, it's... and it's not like Dinzi's about to bust out Camille or something to give you mm -hmm. a, a reliable setup for Galio. So yeah, I don't, I don't think know they about would the want to. They actually don't have engage at all of Votertron. Um and they're yeah. not gonna put Dinzi on engage because there's no Orin, right? So we'll have to see what happens. Uh League they of Dogs has a much just... clearer win condition right now. They have yeah, like their Kaisa to sit behind, they have their Gragas Yasuo combo. Um they have they scale better already, you can see, because they have the Kaisa and Yasuo. Um we'll have to see how it goes in the mid game team fights, how they execute it and what uh Votertron looks like if Votertron gets behind, they're just gonna get both steam. So they need a top laner. And there's a lot of top laners banned right now, so it's kind of... Well, they go Wukong. Up in the Wukong air, I'd say. 
Uh, Darius is actually uh, open, but Wukong is actually a counter to Darius. Wukong was a really good pick here, I think, because... Wow, they just went Darius, Darius into Wukong. Yeah, wow. There it is. Uh, so, that's, that's a good matchup for Wukong, by wow. the way. So the way team fights are going to play out for League of Dogs is Gragas is going to press R on whoever he wants, and Yasuo will ult in, Kaisa will ult in, and then... Wukong will smash That guy's just dead, right? And then yeah. the counter from Votatron is Galio is going to R the guy that gets ulted by Gragas and try mm -hmm. to negate that if, if possible yeah. but if they don't die instantly but drag is I... so i mean league of dog all their champions like they're going in you know what i yeah. mean they're they're going in like they're ready to, they're ready to team fight at six like they're ready to go they're ready to tp in they're ready to make an explosive team fight they're ready to get their picks um votertron really wants to scale they have very now. good disengage on the side of votertron yeah so yeah i mean this is actually kind of a close draft at, at first it was like Really heavily, one sided. Heavily in favor of uh, League of Dogs, Dogs. But yeah, I, uh, I think they drafted pretty okay into what the enemy was showing. Yeah. Um, I I can't help but feel like Dinzi's champion pool kind of held them back here because they yeah. didn't get a good counter pick. And there was a lot of picks not named Darius that could have been really good here. Yeah, anything. <laughs> anything. Like, anything top. Like Gangplank, for example. Can, Probably would have been good. Like, like, <laughs> like, they banned the Maokai and the Orn, which is generally really, really good into Wukong. Uh, Jax is also a counter that you can run into Wukong because um, you can, as soon as you get rid of his his Cyclone, his ultimate ability, and his uh, his W, his dash, his invisible dash, uh, Jax can all in and just kill the Wukong. Whatever. Um, and Dinsey's actually played Jax. I don't know why I didn't want to lock it this game. It's pretty good into Yasuo, Kaisa, and, uh, and Wukong, but... Um, yeah, and it would I, actually give it. It would give Galio a way to get in too, kind of, right? So mm -hmm. it'll be well, the, inter it, it'll the interesting, be interesting thing is that they, they left the Darius up, so clearly they had something prepared for, right? Because it's not like it's yeah. a secret Dizzy plays Darius mm -hmm. whenever it's open, right? Yeah. So well, uh, I think yeah, team sure. fights are gonna be. It's gonna be dependent on who starts them. It'll be C because like Voltron can't really get a team fight. Yeah, started, Voltron unless, doesn't like, start a skirmish. A they just yeah. they just sit there and they wait for a League of Dogs to make a mistake on the engage botch to engage and then they. They counter engage and try to kill the Yasu and Gregus before the Kaisa and Wukong and Thresh can join the party. Now the one thing they do have is a lot of poke. So That's if they real, can yeah. get get to the objectives first and poke them down, then you're engaged. I mean, you can't engage if you're half health, right? Like you'll just die. So I, I, mean, think... I guess that's I guess that's how they're complex. But it's not like they have to like wait for perfect engage. Gregus can just huck an R at someone, right? It's yeah. not like they have any way to stop it. So it It'll also I, be really hard yeah. for uh, them to get like the first dragons. I think the first dragons are really heavy, heavy uh, heavily lean towards League of Dogs. Um, it's going to be really hard for Votatron to ever face check that team because they can die instantly to anything. Um, yeah. But I think that eventually it'll be hard if 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 Votatron can actually get the step in and have positioning, uh, depending on how the lanes go. Um, they'll be able to get control, and they'll be able to get poke down, they'll be able to get vision set up, and they might be able to get a right disengage whenever, and be prepared for that fatty engage that Wukong is coming in. Now, or all Graves. of this can get thrown out the window if Graves just pops off in the early game, like mm -hmm. we know Graves can do, right? Yeah, so. yeah, and he can just roll the team fights and roll roll the jungle. Like, I, I want to say League of Dogs won draft, I want to say that, but like, they might, like, it, like, all things equal, I think they won draft, but yeah. Well, it, it all comes down to execution, honestly. Like both these drafts, I think are fine. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. both work for how they what they're trying to achieve the goals. Yeah. Both I don't like the Galio pick though. Like, team and then... like Galio pick doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like it's just they have so it, normally you want Galio for like a layered engage with Jarvan or Camille or something like that, even Nocturne. But like they're using Galio as more a defensive tool for when Gragas Yasuo comes into them, which. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but a lot of the times the guy's dead before you get there. So mm -hmm. I and then you pop down and then you die too. And it's just like, yeah. well, I guess this was not even worth it. My three minute cooldown on my ult. Like you can probably clearly, use Galley ult three, four times a game. Like yeah, like clearly Tom's got the pick prepared. So I mean, he, he probably knows the matchups. He probably knows how it goes. I know Tom does play Yasuo too. Mm -hmm. Or I yeah, he does play him. Rodov plays Rodov Yasuo. Plays Yasuo. <laughs> yeah. So clearly he's played into Galio before, and maybe he just thinks the matchup is unwinnable. Like yeah. yeah. That would be my guess. Yeah. But. yeah, that'll be cool to see the mid matchup. The mid matchup is going to be really important this game. I think the top matchup is very one sided for League of Dogs, Wukong, mm -hmm. hard counter, and uh, like it's just in Dinsey's on Darius. You know, like we'll have to see how uh, he gets ganked or if he yeah. gets ganked and how he wards for it, prepares for it. Um, It'll be interesting to see. How do you think the draft went? How, how do I? How do yeah. I think it went? What do you um, think? 
you know, I I have I have thoughts. They are, um, <laughs> exist. I, I, yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm wondering about the uh, the graves as far as like how much early action we're we're looking at here. You guys were talking about League of Dogs is looking for um, like that level six, like they're ready. You know, like the Wu Kong alt into the Yasuo alt, the Gragas. Like they have this team fight. Um, that's really great. Are we expecting a lot of action from the jungler? Like, is Gragas, um, is he going to be ganking like crazy? Is he going to be farming? What are you guys thinking? Gragas, as a jungler, he, so, he's kind of weak early, because one, he goes Predator, so you don't have Keystone until you back with 300 gold, right? Mm -hmm. And two, he loses, like, he has Burst, so he's good on ganks, but he doesn't, he has Burst, but he doesn't have enough damage, he doesn't have any sustained damage. So you don't have enough damage to one-shot somebody in the early game. So basically, you lose strength one v ones against most junglers just because they conquer. have more sustained damage than you. Conquer. I mean, Graves doesn't go conquer, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the idea. Yeah. So basically, he looks for two v twos. He looks for ganks, and yeah, so he'll probably clear a few camps, get boots, and then look for a play. Um, and then by that time, Graves will pretty much full cleared. So Graves will probably have a level up. So that, that's how that matchup kind of plays out, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, is I does the Gregus even go to mid lane? I mean, he's trying to gank a Galio that has a shield against his against his AP damage, gotcha. and if and you also ever gank that like... lane, and then the Graves turns up, it gets ugly quick. So right. yeah. the one yeah. thing the one thing that is nice is Yasuo is pretty good against Graves in terms of the wind wall because you can dance around it. All of Graves' damage right. skill shots, like all of it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's one nice thing. Um, what are uh, I, I, I want to just draw the attention? Just I want to ask you guys, what are the um, win conditions for League of Dogs and Votertron? We're getting pretty close to getting the game. I just want to ask that before we go. Um, for the early mm -hmm. game, I would say like the Gragas can probably do an early clear bot side. He can do his red side uh, back, get boots, get blue, and then gank top. <laughs> That's probably what I would do if I was playing the Gragas because uh, then I was level three. This is usually a free game. Yeah, and then and then Dar it's Darius, right? Darius early game. You want to get that early lead, early gold on him because he's probably going to go flash ghost. Not going to have TP. You're going to be able to punish him, get a wave into his tower, deny him XP, deny him gold, and get a get a really big lead top. And then you can snowball that with the Wukong because Wukong just rolls Darius post six. Um and post nine if played properly um yeah that's the key that's the most important thing is if they're played properly uh, yeah. uh darius usually wins the matchup one to three um wukong can start winning five uh five to six and then after after level five i think it's just over for darius because he starts getting outscaled his itemization is way better than darius is in the 1v1 if he goes bork um and it, it's so much it's so easy for wukong to dodge, dodge a lot of uh, darius's damage so are we saying that that Votertron needs to win early and and snowball to win this game? Not necessarily, because they do have good disengage. So if mm -hmm. uh, they if, if League of Dogs screws up their engage, which is what their comp does, they go in. It's actually pretty easy to or pretty hard to screw it up because their engage is so good. But if they do screw it up, they can uh, Votertron can turn it really easily with the Lulu and the Galio. So right. that's that's how they would want to play fights: is poke them, and if they engage, try and kite it out. And also long, yeah. yeah, they want to kite it out. They want to bring drag out these team fights because they have a Lulu with the shields. Those he shields will multiply. The more they use, the more they're used, the more basically healing is blocked. Healing is done, blocked, you know. And mm -hmm. um, they have Ezreal in the back. They have poke. They have range. They have to just keep kiting fights. That's the only way that Votertron will just fight. And, and League of Dogs has to just go into them. All right. One, sorry. One last thing I want to say. Before okay, real quick. Is, just real quick. Yeah. Um, the side of Light of League of Dogs is a lot more reliant on ultimates. So if they get an early Cloud Dragon, that would uh, accelerate them a ton because you just have more ultimate cooldown. You can just go. So. Great. All right. So the dragons might might have an effect on how this game goes. Let's uh, let's check in with Wes and Johnny. We are live with the game. Take it away, boys. All right, everybody. How are you doing, Wes? Oh man, I'm I'm really good. Johnny, I just gotta say, I love that. I love that, you know, the, listening to those players talk about the draft in such oh, yeah. an in-depth and specific way, man. They're that is so just much so smarter cool. than us. We are exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I, I want to bring them into cast the draft every single time. I right, love but... their discussions about the bands and everything like that. That was sure. that was really cool to hear. For sure. But before I get started, I just want to crack a Red Bull open for the boys. Let's go. Oh, Let's get this oh, cast started. Here Everyone, we go. <laughs> Johnny Esports is here. <laughs> I'm ready here with West Rambo. We got some hype action. If you're just tuning in, it is Bodor Tron versus the League of Dogs. League of Dogs over on the blue side. Why don't you introduce the League of Dogs to us? I would love to. In the top lane, we have Laird. In the jungle, we got Fasabe. In the mid, on his signature, Yasuo got Bladest. In the bot lane, Gabby's with Threshmane as well on his signature pick, which is very exciting to see. 
And over for Voter Tried, we have Dinsbag in the top lane, Major Danger in the jungle. At the mid lane, we got Vodor or Rodov. And we have Aldrea at bot with a boo 222. Now, I do just want to say, even though I fully agree with you that the analysts uh, are, or that, that our analysts for today are uh, smarter than us, I just <laughs> do want to quickly uh, toot my own horn a little bit because uh, I picked the power picks for today's match. Uh, yeah. We had Thresh main. Uh, the power pick was uh, Thresh, which, you know. Uh, doesn't take a rocket scientist, but oh, Votertron I, I that was also big by you. on Abu. Okay, oh, hang on oh. a second. Oh, Darius trying to make this happen. This back trying to get a kill over here, but he is being helped out oh. by his jungler. But does pick up that kill, does get a first blood onto Darius. And if you've ever played solo queue, you hear that noise at two minutes, you're already to forfeit. Din's bag, ranks don't matter. First blood, solo <laughs> pool on the Darius. Bring it on, casters. Let's go. I, uh, I, I, you know, that's just something Darius can do. It's one of the strongest level one early game champions. And man, <laughs> that is just so perfect to yeah. see a solo kill on, on, on uh, Din's bag this early in the game. Yeah, you heard it in chat. This is GG next. The second Darius was locked in, we didn't even have to play this game. <laughs> this is over. The game's over. We're casting That's right. for fun now. <laughs> the, pro the prophets in chat have never oh steered us wrong. I'll just go with that. Here's, uh, Here's Thresh main, though, doing Thresh things, playing out Bow 222. Does Ooh. get the hook over onto the Ezreal. Some damage comes from Gabby's to follow it up, but Ezreal will jump away after that. But, you know, Thresh things. Yeah, kind of an interesting uh, decision there by Threshmain to throw the hook out to the Ezreal, somebody he knew he would be able to hit, of course, because that wasn't the uh, champion in danger. Uh, but at the same time, oh, here's a engage. I liked what the analysts were saying about this matchup. I'm, I've been mm -hmm. playing a lot of Galio uh, in solo queue, and uh, Galio does match up really nicely into Yasuo, especially pre-level 6. Uh, as we say that, here comes Blades. But yeah, I, I, I think Galio, yeah, definitely picked for the disengage here of course oh, yeah. like our analysts were mentioning not much opportunity for Galio to actually use his ultimate aggressively because nobody on their team besides Dinsbeg if he gets you know, if he's ghosting or something has a, a really strong way to engage on a team fight but well, what I think with is the really Lulu combo Galio uh, Lulu yeah. Galio combo you got yeah. uh, you got a serious disengage thing going on yeah, exactly. I was actually going to mention that. I actually think, while you might think, like, yeah, he's going to just spend that on towards his bot lane, but actually, when the jungler, when Major Danger on that Graves gets super strong, they were talking about how Graves scales so well. Uh, you just, Graves will live through a lot of that initial damage. You jump in with Vodor, you you get the Lulu ultimate onto that Graves, and that Graves can carry. Or, as we're seeing already, if that if that Din's bag really, really gets ahead of the Darius, you can jump onto them. I, I like it, actually. And here we see a bunch of damage onto Fasabe. He will get out of there, though, however, and be fine. But, yeah, it's... it's I like they, they criticize the pick a lot, and I actually like it quite a bit. Like, mm. they do have enough people on their team that aren't going to get instantaneously blown up by anything, yep. um, assuming they aren't crazy behind. But obviously, if you're just behind, you're just behind. That's what it is. But I actually think if the game is at an even state, um, or you're ahead, it, it'll be it'll seem broken. But I think if the game's actually at an even state, they'll live long enough for that ultimate to have a pretty good effect. Um, but again, we already discussed how they're smarter than me, and I, they, I might just be dumb. I might have just a small brain, and well, uh, I, yeah, I'm correct. But <laughs> the only the way, way to find out. Ooh, max range hook Gosh, actually goes on to Aldrin. Yeah, hitting another one there. Aldre just slowly getting out. He's actually bleeding CS from that pressure that is being put on by Threshmane. So we joked, of course, about this game being over, but we actually look at the lane. It's one pretty much in favor there. We're seeing this happen right now, jumping on top of him. There's a flash to get out is Bladis. So. Yeah, you're seeing CS advantages in all their lanes with the exception of, like, the jungle. Yep. So, yeah, they're, do they're, they're just doing all right. Yeah, actually, here's the Flash uh, play, a uh, uh, signature Thresh main move here going in. Actually, Abu, oh, now no gonna Flash. Get Gabby's going to pick up that kill. Ooh. And, yeah, just just Thresh thing. So, um, yeah, it, it is insane to me they don't ban the champion. <laughs> you know, it, is it just that he's so good on that timing of the Flash play? Because we this isn't the first time we've seen that against, mm -hmm. you know, you'd think would be very, you know, capable bottom laners to, you know, to be able to avoid that Flash play. Uh, Abu just pushed too far up with no Flash on the Lulu there and mm -hmm. uh, get gets punished for it, just like we saw last week with... Um, with League of Dogs and with Threshmane. And yeah, like you say, you know, one way to avoid that is just to not give him this pick. He's just, yeah. he's playing, his, his rank is what it is in solo queue, but he's playing at a higher level than that rank if he gets the Thresh. Yeah. And so, you you know, just don't give it to him and you've, you know, you've increased your rank discrepancy, you know, that, <laughs> that much. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is too, it's something I even kind of do when I go into like local tournaments, like baseline or whatever, is like, mm -hmm. I play a lot of one champion, and then when people check my op.gg, they go, yeah, just ban the sure. Zyra, and then just force yeah. the beat, you know, like, I want them to ban something like the Zyra mm -hmm. out of me, so I just play Janna. But like, yeah. 
that and uh, that that might be a thing that Threshmane is trying to actually like, by keeping the name Threshmane for this tournament and not changing it or anything. It's like might have been actually trying to get people to ban it, but it's like he can play it. It's not it's not a it's not a joke. Like Zyra yeah. is more of a cheesy pick, whereas Thresh is just a legitimate support pick that can peel exactly. that, can, that can do everything you wanted of the support. And meanwhile, Major Danger is coming down to this bot lane to maybe deal with him, but they're just gonna be able to get out because look at the safety that Thresh provides. Yeah, it goes into any team composition as well, you know, you've got so many tools and you get tanky, you're able to do a good amount of damage in the early game. Uh, so definitely, yeah, well, here's Abu <laughs> going very aggressive, trying to stop the recalls and takes a tower hit for his troubles. Mm -hmm. uh, but the dragon looks like it's going to be started up here uh, on the side of Votatron. And yeah, we did see actually Major Danger expend his flash uh, in that gank towards Bladis there. Mm -hmm. And so definitely, you know, I, I like the... You know, manufactured aggression coming in from Major Danger, who, as the as our analyst mentioned, is not as uh, inherently aggressive a jungler as Gragas is. Uh, yeah. But also, you see Major Danger with a, a very significant farm lead on the Gragas, who actually was set quite a bit behind oh. by having to. Oh, here's the flash. flash. And then taunted. It's not instantaneous like it used to be, but it's long enough. Bladis oh. to go down. Major Danger will pick up that kill, and that's scary. Uh, Graves yeah. getting fed is one of the scariest things. It, it, <laughs> When an AD carry is fed, you go, we can still one-shot this AD carry, or like a mage or whatever, when, like, normal AD carries. But Graze has so many resistances, that person gets fed, you cannot kill it. So that is terrifying. Yep. Well ahead in CS and that kill now. Yeah, we talked about that Galio Yasuo matchup, and uh, Galio, you know, when Yasuo has no flash available, so easy to just flash onto that Yasuo, and if there's no minions around, you can't dodge away. And so, so effective to hold that taunt as long as you possibly can. Oh, here's a blue contest, but. Yeah, big invade here. You're not going to be able to touch this. The ultimate does come through from the Wukong Ooh. to try to stop them. Latest will pick up an ultimate. Uh, we'll pick up a kill from that ultimate as well, but Dizbag's gonna get another one for himself. Continues to chase on top of Tobladus. He's gonna get into there now. Vorder is here to help him out. Double kill now through for Dizbag. The next target will be Laird. He's trying to walk away out of this. We'll have to use Flash to do so. And Dizbag has started this game 3-0. Dinzy, he's coming in with the carry. I love, love seeing this after the conversations that were happening backstage here. And uh, yeah, 3-0 <laughs> and already onto the... Darius has that phage to stick to the to stick to his victims there, and uh, this is going to get very, very scary. You know, a fed Darius at this point of the game is so, so difficult and so mm -hmm. oppressive at every, you know, and can scale, scale really, really nicely. Even as we say, uh, Wukong being very powerful against him at level six. So yeah, and, um, they, and they tried to get the things that they wanted. Obviously, they got the Wukong ultimate to yeah. go along to Wombo combo with Bladis on the Yasuo ultimate. It's like, oh, okay, that's what this team wants to do. But like, Didsbag just rolled in there, flashing mm -hmm. his mastery right now, uh, and just, just using his lead to his advantage right now. And it's just yep. again, you've, we've all played this solo queue game where this is happening. Yeah. It, it is terrifying. And it, and the other big threat, Major Danger, Agoras has that kill and the CS lead too as well. So this Gragas is really falling behind on on just farming. Yeah, here's Aldre actually being engaged. Oh, Ooh, a hook Threshmane. comes down. Oh, Threshmane, Aldre. though, wants the Dragas team back into this one. Gabby is going to pick up another kill for themselves. So this bot lane can carry through in this game if Threshmane keeps making plays like that. Aldre, what are you doing so far up? He's just, mm -hmm. this has happened both to Aldre and Abu in this game. A little bit of a lapse in judgment there, but Threshmane may face check this. Trap is sprung, and Threshmane's on top of it. Trying to get his play to get him out of here. He's going to have to get the heal from Gabby's to have just enough health to get out. Looks like it will be. So now Gabby's is focused on the about. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Laird now in the chase as well. Did teleport in. And it's going to be enough to force them off of the fight. Yeah, managing to um, blow Laird's uh, teleport in that situation, giving Dinsbag, you know, uh, uh, relinquishing the advantage he had over Dinsbag at this point, where Dinsbag took that ghost for the laning power. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, here comes the matchup. And I, I, I was just going to say, you know, the Fasabe was put back uh, put behind so early in this game when he had to go and try to help out Laird in that top lane uh, 1v1 there where Dinsbag mm -hmm. got the solo kill anyway. And so since Fasabe had to adjust his path but also didn't manage to get anything out of it, that's right. why he's so far behind. Normally you can see uh, Gragas is clear, not as good as Grace, but not this bad. And mm -hmm. so a uh, really impressive uh, play by Major Danger to take advantage of that. And you can still Dinsbag. see huge damage coming out of Dinsbag onto the Wukong here. Yeah, just playing very, very aggressive, continuing to push up there. Stretching his own CS lead to, to 30 now, too, as well. So basically another kill's worth of CS on top of the enemy top laner. So he's going to be pretty happy about that while 
Major dangers continues over there. Fresh main meanwhile. Oh, okay, I saw a hook hit. I didn't actually see what it hit. It was cut off screen. I'm like, oh, wait, that's a, yeah. that was a minion. <laughs> Never mind. That minion in particular, though, got wrecked. Oh, that minion <laughs> is definitely not happy with his life right now. And uh, we are definitely going to see, you know, still some advantages coming down from that bot lane of League of Dogs as the Rift Herald spawns in the mid lane. And uh, we're nice seeing nice breaking out here, though. Wombo combo oh. does come through. Blade is jumping on top of that in the Barrel will actually push them away and actually kind of save a little bit of their team there. Meanwhile, Audrey is being punished once again for being, you know, a meter away from his tower. <laughs> Gabby picks up the third kill. Oh man, that is exactly uh, what you need to do as the Gragas though in this situation. Really well done by Fasabe. Uh, League of Dogs were going to lose that fight hard. That was a huge fully channeled uh, Gra uh, Galio taunt from Rodov there, and the Gragas disengage was able to completely mitigate any damage that was going to be done by Major Danger. So uh, nice play there by Wasabe. Uh, they still do lose the turret though, so mm -hmm. uh, gold advantage firmly in the lead of Odotron here. Yeah, they still kind of have that a major danger right now. It's going to jump on top of this Thresh over here. But here comes Zabi to try to help this one up. But here's the Galio as well, jumping in with that ultimate Thresh main now. So does Major Danger. He's pretty much out of that. Finally gets taken down by Fasabe. Great play by Gabby to get in there and also use that Jonas to survive. But will eventually go down to Vortron as he flashes for another kill. However, Laird has now joined the fight and so has Bladed. So he will take him down. Aldre, meanwhile, takes out Thresh main on the other side while a double kill will go through for Bladed. And now they are right right back into this game. Ginzbag, however, is jumping in over here. Can he carry him back to you? It's a 3-0 Darius, trying to 1v3 right now. Bojudu is with him, but it will not be enough as the shutdown now comes Ooh. through for Bladed, and they will pick up this dragon, assuming a Miracle Steel does not come through from the Lulu, and just a great play, a little bit <laughs> sloppy, to be completely honest, from the <laughs> other side of Vototron, but hey, you'll take those. Character showing up one at a time in that situation there as, yeah, the Bladest definitely comes out the uh, happiest from that engage, uh, coming out with four kills there. And uh, a Cloud Drake does go over to the League of Dogs side. Phototron's going to be disappointed about that because, uh, as Captain Snarfles mentioned, it would have been really, really helpful, especially for somebody like the Galio with a super long ultimate cooldown to actually chunk that down quite a bit with an early Cloud Drake. But... Uh, mm -hmm. That is going to go on to League of Dogs instead. So uh, they are going to see what they can do here. That they still do maintain slight gold lead here, and uh, you can all you can still see how effective that Galio is in those engages. But it was just reinforcements kept arriving from both sides, and eventually the, uh, the superior reinforcements came from League of Dogs. <laughs> exactly, and now you're seeing them uh, the gold lead. Shaved down a little bit to 1,000 yep. gold right now for Votertron as they can continue this one. Meanwhile, Threshman and Gabby is looking at Dinsbag here themselves. They are pretty strong themselves. If they can get a good hook there, but nice flash by Dinsbag to respect that the uh, the Ignite also goes away from Threshman. So it does absorb yep. that pressure. It's pretty good there. We do see a bit of a death rush happening here now. Dinsbag is going to jump on top of him. He's going to be blinded by that Graze right now. So he doesn't know what's killing him even. Dinsbag will pick up another kill and go to 4-1. Yeah, uh, Threshman with the base check. Nice rotation there by Votertron to be exactly in that bush when they needed. They knew Threshman was about to ward that. But here's Rodolf way oh, in the oh, back oh, line oh. with the flank. Rodolf is that damage. Damage there. He is real tanky. He's down to half health, but the rest of the team is with him now. He's jumping in his dead side trying to make this. Blade is trying to do his <laughs> Yasuo. Uh, when you hit it, you just got to go for it sometimes when you're Yasuo. And. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a Yasuo syndrome on that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a pretty much all he could do in that situation. He didn't have the flash available, and he wasn't getting out of that, and that's for sure. Uh, Rodov, with that Galio, so much uh, crowd control available, and a huge taunt went down on him. So still, uh, w once again, even though Votertron had that little bit of a setback with the dragon fight, they still are Fresh maintaining an advantage on the map. Here's the game. And jumping in there with the ultimate from Gabby. Just jumping off of the uses the lantern just for the shield mostly. And did's back oh. to go down. Gabby is four and one again. This bot lane wants to carry their team back into this one. Yeah, Din's bag a uh, bit off a little more than he could chew uh, with that two v one. And in many cases, Darius will be able to do that at this point in the game. But Threshmane really nicely stacks that crowd control down mm -hmm. and uh, does not allow him to throw down that ultimate onto Gabby's, uh, who also got the maximum amount of damage there. So, uh, yeah, really, really, you know, just just well played there by the bot lane mm -hmm. of League of Dogs, who have now rotated up top. Yeah, really aggressive play. You like to see that out of 80 carries. Uh, 
especially when you're playing Kaisa, that's a play that like at lower levels you just don't make because you're scared of making that, especially when you see a 4 and one Darius. But yep. it, that is a very good job by that bot lane, recognizing that they can take that because it is it is scary to try to 2v1 a 4 and one Darius. Well, but, and the trust because yeah, you know, the trust, if Thresh exactly. main doesn't put down that crowd control exactly perfectly, if he gets a buffer, if he gets just a tiny split second in between those two abilities, mm -hmm. he throws down that ult and Gabby's goes down. And, uh, Again, imagine you know, I'm on a different so, champion. If yeah, he was on a different exactly. champion, they might be not are not able to make that play at all. Exactly. Yep. So there you go. Thresh main once again showing the power of that pick, especially in his hands. Uh, Blade mm -hmm. of the Ruined King now completed down onto the Yasuo to deal with the tanky members here of uh, Votatron. It's actually mm -hmm. an interesting first buy there on Yasuo. I mean, I haven't been keeping up on Yasuo builds, but uh, maybe not it's broken. exactly what I would have <laughs> expected. But the Phantom Dancer likely coming next. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Blade of the Ring King is just a broken item right now. And, yeah, uh, fair enough, especially uh, on melee yeah, champions. Yeah, yeah, it's un unreal. But uh, yeah, it, it works real well on on Yasuo. Uh, anyone that can kind of just keep keep on yep. hidden. Wukong, of course, has built it as well. We are on the live patch, so uh, looking to see if Sanguine Blade will come down for either of these, you know, split pushing threats of the Wukong or Yasuo. It's very strong right now, as far as uh, um, I have been able to tell. Um, unless, yeah, if, unless would... if you've got a different. Uh, my my only on. thought of it is Sanguine Blade is a really good 1v1 item, and yeah. they're playing a team on the other side where Vodor can kind of come out of nowhere, and then everyone's going to kind of run into a fight, and I don't think they expect to 1v1 a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, th that's just my my initial instinct. Was, I actually haven't played too much on this patch, mm -hmm. but that's my initial instinct on it right now. Um, my, like, if you have, like, a yeah. Lucian or something that could really take advantage sure. of, of it, it, it ends up being really strong. Queen, but of I, course. I, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. my, my read on it is that you know, Din's bag definitely is going to want to be split pushing and going to want to uh, go for that. So if the Wukong can, you know, get in a position where, or, or wants to get in a position where mm -hmm. he can face up Towards that Darius Sanguine Blade right. could be an item choice yeah. that you might want to go Maybe. for. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen too through. much of it, but again, I haven't I haven't even played uh, any league in this patch. Um, so far. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I just got my Valorant drop, and so I've been uh, yeah. uh, slacking I've off been, on league a little bit as well. I've been so. Playing a lot of Valorant. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, here we go. They they are pushing into this There's tower. Here, looking at that, so when the wombo combo does come through, Blade is up in the middle of this fight, and everyone's just throwing down their ultimates, trying to jump into here as well. Vodor is real big, and he's got that Lulu ultimate as well, so he's just basically unstoppable. Will pick up the kill, and Blade is two for one for now. Major danger. Meanwhile, to continue his fight onto Laird, he's trying to jump to the back line, trying to get something to happen here, but no, Vodor will pick up a double kill. They'll now continue the fight over on to Gabby. Gabby's trying to get away here. Triple kill for Rodolf. One person left. Gabby's. Are you? Can you fight this off? You are real strong. You could potentially pick up a couple kills here because yeah. their life bars aren't low, but they wisely are going to basically back off and force you to kind of just stay away. And oh no, he doesn't. They just jump right back into it. And that shield, the Zhonyas, comes through to save Vodor's own life. Meanwhile, Din's bag is going to try to spin to win that oh. one. Never mind. Presses R and takes him out. Flashes the mastery. And we finally have uh, well, the rest of the team spawn, but essentially an ace as they go on to the strike. Yeah, League of Dogs with a really, really beautiful flank engage under tower and still not a single kill and all five of them die. This is a huge lead. Oh! <laughs> Why oh, did I do that? Oh, 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 oh. That was a smite. Oh. Yeah, I just smited it over the wall. Uh, yeah, and Gragas, or, uh, yeah, wow. Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty nice. There Wait. From, from Basabe. Wait, was smite up? I'm actually not even sure that was... I actually... I need to look at this again. How could he have... Someone in chat tell me. I feel like he... Did he throw... I don't know. Someone tell me how, how that happened. How could he have I'm gotten it, missing it a little Was bit. it a barrel? I didn't even see a barrel in there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, there Maybe was it was just okay. a spike. <laughs> in any case... But, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, anyway, he took it. <laughs> really nicely played uh, in that team fight, though, by Votertron to repel yeah. that uh, huge... Actually, really uh, well thought out engage there by mm -hmm. Laird uh, going in with the big knock up onto the Wukong uh, into the Yasuo ultimate, but... Just not enough damage, and you know, you saw a huge taunt coming in there from Rodov to uh, get everybody he possibly could, and then another double taunt coming in while they were chasing uh, the remaining members as they were chasing them into this area they're sitting in now. So, yeah, really, really good team fight play here by Votertron, and mm -hmm. you could see in that fight the strength of the Darius as well. Just he was the focus initially, he had a lot of damage, he went down to so low HP mm -hmm. and still managed to survive uh, with that Trinity Force up and with that. Um, with just how many kills and how far ahead he is. So, 
really, really scary. Oh, here he's he gonna get he's gonna get taunted. Yeah, he's gonna get taunted up by Vodor. He's gonna get the Ludo ult as well, so he's a thick boy. Meanwhile, Lair's gonna come in with ultimate, get on top of Abu Tuju too. He's gonna use his second ultimate and do use that to try to disengage, but everyone's still punching on him. But Threshman will oh. save him for a moment. Major Danger does get that with his ultimate, and now they continue on to the gauge towards this tower. And yeah, uh, just to track, backtrack a little bit. Yeah, look, it, uh, I, I, yeah, it looks like he did get that smite off. I just, like everyone's saying in chat, I would just didn't think he was actually in smite range. That's exactly what That's I thought. I, I didn't think off. that was even possible. Did they um, somehow pull the dragon yeah. back a little bit towards that wall? Yeah. yeah which is, we'll uh, have to uh, look at the replay here. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna watch it later. Cause I'm just like that is so confusing to me. Uh, I mean, they didn't a, a bit of because... call for not just pulling out the dragon, though. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> But you, you don't pull out the that, dragon but... expecting the jungler to smite over the wall. Yeah, like, yeah, you would just you, not yeah, have... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just but in any case, still anyway. good practice. Either way, they got a Baron uh, yep. now. Yep. Uh, while, they, while we were talking about that. <laughs> exactly, so uh, excellent job for them. Uh, besides that one dragon being a little bit of a stumble that they made there, they're now rolling through with this game. Five and one is Rodov slash Vodor on that Galio mm -hmm. as he's showing the strength of this pick and really a composition they put together around him with the Lulu ultimate coming on top of him and the follow-up damage. Yep. It is it is nasty. Well, and it hasn't even been the Galio ultimate that has really been the story here. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just the absolute, you know, team fight power when, when Galio is already there, just taunting the huge taunts here on, you know, what you'd think is a pretty mobile team uh, mm -hmm. on League of Dogs here. Lots of ways to dash around, but Rodov, you know, tracking those cooldowns, getting exactly the crowd control that he needs in order to, you know, draw them in and allow his carries to do damage. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, we did question this draft. It was a little odd, uh, and we were we thought there was a clearer win condition coming out of League of Dogs, but Vototron mm -hmm. shows they had a plan and they are yeah. sticking to it, and it is working. Yeah, and uh, again, like I, 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 re I just really like Galio as champion in general. So it's like right now, yeah, he, he and obviously he's in the hands of, of, of Rodog, he's just really, really showing it off. And of mm -hmm. course, you know, obviously it helps having a five and two Darius, and it helps having such a strong uh, jungler kind of going on here. Yeah, your bot lane lost a little bit there, but um, he, <laughs> I, I, I always kind of just cite how the bot lane is maybe the most useless position in the game so you, yeah. you, you if you're gonna only have one place that's weak that can be it because everywhere else is strong yeah Def kaiza definitely does have really great scaling so does yasuo mm -hmm. and so if and they do try, manage to they're trying this, to carry this yeah. game this is one of those solo queue games like uh even if i was on the other side like let's say i'm aldre and i go oh man ad carry is useless because gabby's should be able to carry this game with how strong how much they slapped us but it just doesn't matter like the rest of the team is is so strong over there right now mm -hmm. on um Bodor, tron and it's pretty tough freshman does land a hook but he's forced to still just back off as they're gonna get onto this inhibitor yeah so now the base is cracked, it almost feels too late uh, for this scaling plan to work out in terms of the Kai'Sa, Yasuo, Wukong here. Uh, it's just, you know, the power level difference for Votatron's champions is just so stark. Mm -hmm. oh, and, uh, stark. They're going to keep pushing. Here's the Galio ultimate. Uh, they're, yeah. just, they're just going to keep pushing onto these Nexus turrets, I think. Yeah, Galio also kind of just, just to join the fight sooner, and uh, everyone does decide to disengage. They knew if they kind of stayed in that fight, they would uh, kind of be messed up there. And, you know, get behind your two towers It's the one thing that's really protecting you from this game. And meanwhile, the Death Brush being set up here, potentially. Yeah, Threshmane has been a little face check happy in this mm -hmm. game, and uh, this wouldn't be the first time. Will he go in now? Oh, uh, no, the, he, he does use the Lantern. With the lantern. Yeah. does force him to alt just to make sure that they stay away. And right now they're working on the dragon that mm -hmm. can't be stolen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This time, this time you're not getting it. Okay. You're not if he gets it this time, now. we gotta ask some questions. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they still are quite a long way away from that dragon soul. Still, uh, uh, minimum, you know, ten-ish minutes away because uh, two more dragons have to spawn. Uh, and you know, that's a that's a really nice silver lining there from League of Dogs. Mountain Soul would be very, very difficult for them to deal with uh, using their team composition, but. Um, still only one tower as well taken on the side of League of Dogs. Meanwhile, the base is completely in disarray here uh, on their side. And so, you know, it, it seems so, so impossible for them to be able to take this Baron. Uh, seeing the two inhibitors, perfect two inhibitors are down for them not to be able to defend it. Yeah, it is going to be pretty scary. They're just going to be able to siege over into the top lane pretty easily. And yeah, like you said, who can really stop it? You're, you're, someone has to stay in the base to wave clear. 
No one's going to be able to stop them taking this tower at the very least. So this one's going to be gone. And now they have to basically desperately fight for that third inhibitor. Because if that goes down, the game is just over. So yep. you kind of are, I believe you're going to be looking for a YOLO kind of play over here from League of Dogs. So let's see the, their last stand if they want to try to pull it out now. Yeah, the uh, Morello Nomicon now finished three full items and very powerful ones indeed onto Rodov and uh, definitely just, you know, so powerful. There's just no possible way for a League of Dogs to defend this. Yeah, they, they don't even try. Yeah. Um, I think you should just because you, you probably just lose the game anyway, but like you might as well go for something yellowy yeah, here. Yeah, just one last fight. Oh, this big jump in. Porter's just going to taunt them all up and knock them all down. They're all so low. Who's going to get the first kill this one? It will be Dinsbag. The carry from the top lane. He will eventually get taken down by Laird. And now they're trying to disengage from here. You do see Rodos also coming down to help do so. Top watch does come through for Sasabe. Major Danger is going to put on some more damage over there. Bo222 is going to use his exhaust to try to slow him down to maybe get a kill. And you know what? They pretty successfully defended that, going one for one. But those double super minions haven't arrived at the base yet, and they're starting to get here now. So let's see if they can continue to defend. Gabby's does have that, can jump in with the ultimate and try to make something happen here. The Q is going to do a ton of damage. Rodov's going to jump into there, but all by himself. Oh. We'll pick up one kill at least. So at least gets down there, but a shutdown does go over to Gabby's. Meanwhile, Blade is now trying to jump on top of Wu Two Two Two. Meanwhile, Danger Danger is now here again. He's gonna jump across the wind wall. Is not gonna be able to stop him as he dashes forward through it, and they continue on this siege because really these super minions just keep putting on tons and tons of pressure. They don't even back yet. Wu Two 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 here with Major Danger are just trying to here see if they can poke in basically these super minions and have them do the rest of the work. Aldre has now finally joined them as well. And that as real will do some good poke damage on top of Thresh main here. Meanwhile, Major Danger is going to be ultimated by the Lulu. So he's big, is now going to jump in front of this tower and try to make things happen. The super mains are still pouring into the base. Dinsbag is alive and this is going to be joining the fight now. So finally, he does go down, but here's Dinsbag here to replace him. Bladis is here now too as well. This fight lasts forever as Kasabe does finally kill a bow 222, but there's only one Nexus turret left. Yeah, it started off with Rodov going in and actually like, squeaking out a double kill there somehow. And that allowed uh, Vortotron to continue to feel like they had enough pressure, even with low health bars, low mana bars, to you know back up those super minions. And uh, <laughs> they do manage to uh, get another Nexus turret and get more damage on the other Nexus turret f uh, for their troubles there, but lose a couple of members of their team. Uh, now the Baron not such a sure bet as it would have been before, mm -hmm. and actually you see Gabby's already starting it up here. Yeah, desperately trying to oh. get it to see if they can kind of sneak this one in here. Look but at Vodor that Tron, damage. Or Vodor himself, Rodov, whatever we want to call him. He's, <laughs> I'm <laughs> he's, calling him Rodov. I don't yeah, care. Uh, there we go. Jumping into it now. The ultimate does come through. Dinzag is by himself dealing with this Wombo. Combo will go golden and stay alive. Aldra picked up a kill over on the other side as well in the meantime but they're being jumped onto it now Vodor will pick up one kill he will back out there now too and it's still a four versus three they're gonna re-destroy this inhibitor that Baron is available to get it if they want to use that to just finish off this siege but we'll see what they decide to do yeah it looks like the Baron's now gonna be free as all turrets all structures except the Nexus have fallen on the side of League of Dogs there. So, uh, yeah, the, there you see, you know, the the Gragas single-handedly repels that Baron. The get Gragas, the Galio, Rodov's Galio, single-handedly repels that Baron play. Then goes in and, fi and gets the kill uh, while, by ult by using his ultimate down onto Dinsbag in the base there. So, at this point, Dinsbag has accrued enough stats that he can just kind of like, you know, sit himself in the base, wait mm -hmm. for an ultimate from Rodov and just create havoc there while structures, you know, crumble around him. So it really is just a, a, a siege coming in now mm -hmm. from Votertron, which uh, has nearly broken through the final defenses of League of Dogs. Uh, Dragon now spawning again, like we said, still not soul point uh, because yeah. of that very, very weird that. steal earlier. So uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that's going to go down yeah, as well. I'll take it. Uh, honestly, it, this is a bit of a, a win more Dragon right now. They probably yeah. could, they just need to siege down that. Not expecting to again. see a soul here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're just going to get a little bit more resistances here as they continue on to this last fight. Bodor is going to be able to jump in there. Rodov 
com. <laughs> and then he can in and yeah, they, they just can't really do anything. He's, he just keeps jumping yeah. forward and being like, hey, I'm here. And it doesn't really matter. Here comes the last desperate fight. Blade is going to use that Laird ultimate to try to ultimate it into himself as well. But here comes the damage from everyone else. Blade will pick up the first kill in the fight. He'll pick up two, in fact, but... Eldred's able to pick up one now too as well. Dinsbag is actually being forced to run away. He's being knocked up. He's being taken down. Lulu ultimate does come up for him, so he will swing his axe and pick up a kill for himself. GA now pop for him. The rest of them are going to continue fighting this one. And this game is not over yet because they are going to continue to do this. Gabby's right now looking for the triple kill. We'll get it. We'll eventually go down, but two of them are left here to remain saving this base, but it is an ace. It's an ace, but Gabby's going down there was critical because uh, Super Minion's still streaming. After actually two inhibitors have respawned, so uh, saved by the bell here on the side of League of Dogs, and yeah. as well saved by a beautiful engage coming in from Laird. Did exactly what he needed to do, and you have to question, you know, why Votertron allowed themselves to be grouped up like that. It was, mm -hmm. you know, they, they got four people in that knockup, and it's just. You know, that is what allowed, it is going to allow League of Dogs back into this game. And it was their one engages. out. Yes, exactly. It was their one out was a Wombo combo, including Bladis yep. hitting all of your team. And that's exactly what Votertron gave to them. So, uh, impressive to actually even go for it. Because sometimes in these situations, you like, yeah, you might literally go GG next and you're just yep. like, whatever, we, we lost. But there was a window. You just waited for it and you found it. And a uh, mistake by Votertron, but obviously a great job of League of Dogs to take advantage of seeing that mistake. Yeah, exactly. And this is, you know, we talked about the scaling and uh, even with every single structure down, the t League of Dogs lineup does outscale slightly the uh, lineup of Votertron here with the <laughs> Kaiza and Yasuo. So if they can get maximum damage down, if these fights keep taking as long as they have been taking, oh. then uh, League of Dogs has an avenue. And here's there Votertron go. coming in. Four men. Here's the fight going now here. They're going to be jumping out there. Votertron trying to disrupt as much as possible. One kill will finally get through. There'll be another couple coming back. It is traded one for Gabby's, but two me three members are down now for League of Dogs. Gabby's is the next target. He's being taken out. We'll go down triple kill coming now for major danger and that will finally be the game and it was a good defense but Votertron will pick up the first of this best of three and they'll be looking to close out the series in the next game. Rodolf just the absolute MVP of this game.